W-O-A-Y TV, Oak Hill, Beckley. Good evening from Channel 4 News headquarters in Oak Hill. This is the Channel 4 11 o'clock news report. I'm on Neil Church with Neil Clark. W-O-A-Y's owner and operator, Robert R. Thomas Jr., collapsed and died last night while visiting in the Charleston area. Mr. Thomas was an Oak Hill native and a pioneer broadcaster in the area. He is survived by his widow, Helen, three daughters and two sons. Station manager Robert Brown comments. The owner and operator of WOAY radio and television died last night of a heart attack. This is not just a straight news item and it certainly is not intended to be a eulogy. But certain things need to be said. Bob Thomas worked hard and demanded more of himself than any man I've known. He was a rather shy man and difficult to know. But those who knew him loved him. For the past two years, at the end of our muscular dystrophy telethon, he would very quietly come to me and contribute the largest individual gift to that cause, with no one permitted to know of it. He was an individualist with strong opinions and a great deal of foresight. And he'd fight you for what he believed in. Our industry and this area has lost one of its leaders. A personal note, he will be sadly and greatly missed by all of us. Part of the West Virginia conspiracy law was declared unconstitutional today by the state Supreme Court. The decision came in a case involving seven Logan Countyans under indictment for alleged election law violations. It means the defendants may not be tried on indictment counts based on invalid part of the conspiracy.